Greetings! Uh, I am Michelangelo Maglake, a registered psychometrician, and I would be your instructor for today about the topic psychological assessment. Uh, part of its history is the testing movement. Okay, so before we begin, let us have a short recap about the World War I, part of the history in the psychological assessment. And uh, during the World War I, uh, the America or the United States uh, wanted to conduct, called for the help of the psychologists and psychometrician to conduct assessment for uh, potential military uh, officials and uh, soldiers. And one of the famous psychologists who had contributed in the during the World War I is Robert Yerkes. He pioneered the first group of intelligence tests, which is divided into two, the alpha and the beta. The alpha is, uh, is used for, the, for those uh, applying soldier or potential military militants who can read and write, or for those who are literate. And for those who are illiterate, he used the beta test for, uh, for functionally literate uh, militant applicants. So this, uh, this beta test is comprised of the pictures, uh, pictures test, uh, running uh, physical test, running a maze, and sometimes a discriminatory activities. Then also Arthur Otis uh, introduced the multiple choice and other objective types of tests. After him, um, Robert S. Woodsworth also created personal data sheet, in which nowadays we still use it when we are conducting psychological testing and assessment. And he is all the proponent of the Woodsworth Psychoneurotic Inventory. As you would also remember on the last lecture presentation about psychological assessment, Francis Galton is of course the father of psychometrics, eugenics, and the testing movement. He introduced the anthropometric records of students, which is a series of quantitative measurements of the muscle, bone, and adipose tissue used to assess the composition of the body. And the core elements of anthropometry are height, weight, body mass index, body circumference, the waist, the hip, and the limbs, and skin fold thickness. If you would remember during your elementary or high school days, uh, your physical education professor or teacher is measuring such body uh, physical characteristics. And he also introduced the idea of correlation, whereas correlation should only be used with variables that are normally distributed, meaning it is based on the norm. Then he also uh, pioneered the application of the rating scale and questionnaire method and the free association technique. He also used the Galton bar. Well, the Galton, the Galton bar is a visual discrimination length and the Galton whistle determines the highest audible pitch a person can, uh, can hear. Moreover, he also noted that persons with mental retardation tend to have diminished ability to discriminate among heat, cold, and pain. And thus, because of this uh, measurement of individual differences, he, ha he, uh, he pioneered the differential psychology movement. Aside from Galton, there are also other early experimental psychologists, and uh, Johann Friedrich Herbart is one of them. He introduced the mathematical models of the mind. He is the father of pedagogy as an academic discipline, and he went against Wundt. His beliefs are totally different against Wundt. There's also Ernst Heinrich Weber. He focused on the sensory thresholds during the 19th century, and he also uh, pioneered the just noticeable difference during the experiments or the JND. Gustav Theodor Fechner uh, introduced the mathematics of sensory thresholds of experience. 
He is also the founder of Psychophysics and is considered as one of the founders of experimental psychology. He also uh, introduced the Weber-Fechner law, uh, first to, which is to first to relate sensation and stimulus, which is a psychophysical method. Of course, we won't forget the famous Wilhelm Wundt, which is, he is considered as one of the founders of psychology because he is the one who is the first to set up a psychology laboratory in Leipzig, Germany. There's also Edward Tichner, who succeeded Wundt and brought structuralism to America. And his, blame, uh, brain, his, brain, his brain is still displayed in the psychology department of Cornell. Diamond Frost Whipple, he pioneered the human ability testing and conducted seminars that changed the field of psychological testing. After the years of structuralism from Wund, the school in psychology of functionalism began to uh, to spread in the America in, during the 1880s the 1990s for American psychology and James McKean Cattell is one of the famous psychologists who contributed to the functionalism testing movement well uh, James McKean Cattell is stressed on the quantification of the ranking and rating he used ranking and rating in his experiment he is also the first psychologist to teach statistical analysis of experimental results. He also began the psychological review with Baldwin and helped found American Association of University Professors where, where uh, the psychology professors are uh, doing clinicking or sharing, clinicking, sharing their knowledge about psychology but not mentioning the other party or the patient that they encounter having a mental illness or mental disorder. He also organized psychological corporation during that time where the psychological corporation provided psychological tests or stand help a standardized psychological test during the time. He trained more graduates as well in psychology and he's the one who coined the term mental test. Also, one of the famous psychologists who had contributed in the history of psychological testing movement is Alfred Binet. Uh, well, Alfred Binet is the first truly psychological test uh, of mental ability provider. He's the very first person. And he believed that assessing such cognitive functions such as memory, attention, imagination, and comprehension would provide a more appropriate measure of intelligence. And Binet's turn to test of cognitive ability when he found significant differences between his children and his adult subject. There are a lot, uh, he discovered differences between a child and an adult. Well, during the psychological testing movement, there are also other famous psychologists who wanted to contribute to the psychological movement. And there are also famous other, other famous personality testers like Herman Rorschach, who gave rise to the projective testing. He devised the famous Rorschach ink blood test. And Henry Morey and Christina Morgan, they pioneered the thematic apperception test. And during the early 1940s, structured tests were being developed Based on their better psychometric properties, McRae and Costa uh, pioneered the Big Five personality factors. And these Big Five are broad personality traits described uh, by the theory as a extraversion, uh, agreeableness, openness, conscientiousness, and neuroticism.
Well, the America is not just the only country who experienced psychological testing movement. There is also such a psychological testing movement here in our country, in the Philippines. And uh, it is because of the Philippines Psychological Testing Movement Royal Decree of December 20, 1863, where uh, psychological testing movement in the Philippines began. It, it was put in place for a system of assessment for those who would like to be admitted to social or civil service. And of course, we have famous uh, psychologists in the Philippines who also contributed to the psychological testing movement in our country. We have Manuel Carrion. He created, uh, he is a researcher or uh, the proponent of the dissertation on Philippine studies in mental measurements. We also have Sinforonso Padilla who disserted the Philippine self-administering test of mental ability. And Ordonis, uh, he, he conducted a series of tests or the battery of tests for the inmates of Bilibid and used them or used them for a research evaluation and guidance division bureau of public schools. Other than them, um, Lazo uh, Vasquez de Jesus and Edralin Tiglao uh, conducted a research on tests used in clinical and industrial settings in Manila. And of course, our father of uh, Philippine psychology, Mr. Uh, Dr. Virgilio Enriquez, created a psychological test called the Panukat ng Ugali at Pagkatao or PUP. Along with him, uh, psychologist Aurora R. Palacio also created Panukat ng Katalinuhang Pilipino or PKP. And Ana Daisy Carlota, Panukat ng Pagkataong Pilipino or PPP. Also, Gregorio E. H. Del Pilar uh, created the psychological test titled The Masaklaw na Panukad ng Loob o Mapa ng Loob. I think that wraps up the uh, introduction, the total introductions about uh, things you should know about the history of psychological assessment. And uh, see you on the next uh, lecture video presentation on the subject. Thank you for watching. I'm not requiring, but I hope you would subscribe uh, for our future lessons. Thank you very much, everyone.